you know, we're going to take a look at uh, one of the other node red core nodes, and that's the uh, split node. Now, the idea of the split node is to take a, an incoming message object and split it into several different message objects and return uh, a series of message objects. Now, the incoming object can be a simple string, it can be an array, or it can be an object, and the split node will split uh, each, one of, each one of those. So this is the flow I'm going to use to demonstrate the, the split node. Now, the split node you get from over here, uh, from the node, node list, and I'm using the split node, and I'm using some inject nodes, a function node, and a debug node. And this I'm going to use to demonstrate the various uh, aspects of the split node, splitting a string, splitting an array, and splitting an object. And then later on, we're going to look at a real-world example where we're going to use MQTT, and we're going to split a, an incoming uh, message coming in from MQTT, and we're going to publish it out again using MQTT and I'll talk you through that when we get to it. What I've got here is I'm going to inject a string and I'm going to inject an array or I'm going to trigger an array should I say and I'm going to trigger an object. So if I look at the function node here all it does is accept the incoming payload and if it's, if it's equal to 1 it sends out an array, if it's equal to 2 it sends out an object and if it's not equal to one or two it just passes on the message and the inject node here injects a simple string so that will pass straight through the function object and out again into the split node and this one injects one which when it goes into the function node will trigger an array and this one will inject two, which when it goes into the function node will trigger an object into the split node. And I've got a debug node here so we can see what's what's going on. Now if I click on the split node and highlight it and pull up the information pane over here, it tells me more details about the switch node. And let's just bring that across here so we can read it. Now here's the information and now it says here it can split a string, it can split an array, it can split an object. and the most interesting thing is the output. It actually adds various um, properties to the message object when it sends the message object out or the, the message objects out. It adds a, a parts object. Now the parts object has uh, an ID, a message ID, uh, index, count, type, and uh, a character. This is when you're splitting a string. It tells you what, what character you're using for splitting the string, and also a key property. Um, where you can copy the key from uh, an incoming object. And I'll show you all those when we look at the demo in a second. So let's put the sidebar back over here at the way. So let's look at the split node in a bit more detail now. So if we open it up here, and we can see here the first thing is a string buffer split, and we can choose what character we're going to use to, to split it, or what character we're going to split it on and I'm going to use the forward slash here and with an array we split using a fixed length of one and with an object we can copy the key, remember I showed you the key, we can copy the key into another message so I can copy that into something like message.key and I'll show you that when we look at the object uh, but other than that, there's very little to configure on there normally. So let's go now and start injecting messages and let's see what we get. So we'll start off with the, the string and we're just going to inject the string and the string has got the forward slashes. And remember, we're splitting on the forward slash. So what I'm expecting to come out here is three messages, one with A, one with B, one with C. Uh, let's deploy it and let's inject. And you can see straight away over here, I've got those messages coming out. And payload of the first message is A, of the second message is B, and the third message is C. So it's split the incoming message into three separate messages. And you can see here there's a parts object. And if I look at the parts object, you can see there it's got an ID, a type, which is a string. It's got the character, which we're splitting on, which is a forward slash. The index, this is the first one, which is zero. And the 
number of messages in this parts, which is three. Now this parts object is actually used by the other node, which is the join node, which is the opposite of the split node, which we'll look at in another video. And if we look at the second message coming out, which is the B, and we look at the parts object again, you can see it's indexed one, in, remember index start at zero, and messages, total message count is three. Okay, so let's clear that and we'll move on to the next one which is an array. Uh, one thing I did not mention or forgot to mention is that the split node will only split the payload property. You can actually install other nodes that will split other properties. Uh, but the split node, the, the default split node, will only split the payload. So the array we're going to send into it looks like this. It's test 1, test 2 and test 3. And so we're expecting to see three messages come out with a payload of test 1, test 2, and test 3. And let's trigger it. And there are three messages out there. You can see the payload test 2, test 1, test 3. And if we look at the parts object for um, the test 3 payload, and you can see here it's a type array. We've got three messages in the sequence. Uh, the length of each message is 1 and the index is 2. This is the last message. Remember, we start 0, 1, 2. The index is started 0. OK, that's the array. Uh, let's go and look at the final one, which is the object. And let's clear that over there. And what we're going to do now is trigger the object. And this is the object we're going to be using. You can see here, it just says M1 property of 1, M2 property of 2, and M3 a property of 3. So when we split that we should see three messages coming out, um, 1, 2, and 3. The key which is here will be lost and we can remember preserve the key, we can copy the key over, but the key also appears as part of the parts object so you don't actually have to copy it to, to access it and I'll show you in, in a second. So done and let's inject it. So we've got three messages coming out as expected. You can see the payload is 1, payload is 2, payload is 3. So the keys M1, M2 and M3 aren't there. But if we look in the parts object, you can see here we've got a type of an object. We've got a key is M1, index is 0, count is 3, which is three messages in this series. If we go and look at the last one, and you can see here the index is 2, count is 3, and the key is M3. So we don't need to copy the key over to access it. We can access it through the parts object, but it might be easier in applications to copy it over. And so let's go back to the split node and copy it. So we're going to copy the key to uh, message.key. And we have to deploy it, clear our debug, and let's trigger the object again. And if we look at it now, we see again the three messages. This time we see the key here as part of the payload object. And you can see it here, M2 and M3. So that's the basics of the split node. We can split a a string, we can split an array, and we can split uh, an object. So let's go and look at our example. We're going to use MQTT, and what we've got, uh, we're simulating a sensor. Now this sensor is publishing data, and it's publishing data on this topic here, um, sensors house status, and it's publishing uh, data as a JSON string. And I'm simulating that using this inject node here, and you can see I'm sending in a string door open light one is off and the temperature is 21 and what I want to do is to take this string and I want to split it into three messages uh, one with door one with light and one with temperature and I'm going to send three separate messages so we're taking a, a composite message and we're going to send it out as three separate messages so Let's just clear that and let's, we've got a debug node going into a subscribe node. So when I actually inject this message, it goes out over MQTT and it comes back in over MQTT because I'm subscribing to that topic and we should see it come in the debug node. 
and let's remove that to so we don't get confused and let's just inject it so deployed first and we inject it and we can see as expected what we've got coming in is a JSON string we got the door open we got the light off and we got the temperature you can see it over here let's just scroll it back so what we're going to do now is we're going to pass this into a, a JSON node which takes the incoming JSON string and puts it into a JavaScript object and then we're going to split it and remember it's an object so we're going to use the object and this time we're copying the key over and then we send it into a change node and what we're going to do in this change node is we're going to send a message out and what we're going to send a message out is we're going to change the the message topic and we're going to publish on door light and temperature so we're going to publish the message not on sensors house status we're going to publish on sensors status light door temperature and to do that we take the topic and we use here and I showed you this in an earlier video we're going to use the JSON art and expression editor and there's a topic prefix we're going to append to that the parts.key and the key remember we copied over so the parts.key we should see each one of the keys which is door light lots of light one and the temperature let's cancel that cancel that clear that over there and now we'll we'll put it in there remove it from there so we don't get confused and so what I want to look at is the output the output that is actually going to be published again using this publish node here MQT publish node let's deploy it and let's inject okay so over here in a debug screen what we see going out is topic sensor status door and the payload is open sensor status light one and the payload is off and sensor status temperature and the payload is 21. okay that's the the end of the video and i'll make the flow available on the site so if you look in the description the video description there'll be a link to the download so you can get a copy of this flow if you want to play with it if you have any comments on the video then please leave them below and if you like the video then you can click on the like button below and if you want to get notified of new videos you can always subscribe to the channel and if you do use social media and think it's worthwhile sharing then please do and until next time goodbye